What's going on guys, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Amigos Code and in this video I want to talk to you about the new MacBook Air which I'm switching to and this is a review from a software engineer. So I know a lot of you guys might, might be having questions whether they are good or not for software development and by the end of this video you should know whether you should buy these laptops or not. So I actually um, been using this laptop right here. So this uh, was my previous one. So this was the MacBook Air. Uh, I had it for about nine to 10 years. So it's kind of old, but to be honest, it did its job. It's not working actually at the moment because um, it fell off and um, I had no option but to buy a laptop. So obviously Apple, they, they, they announced their, their new silicon um, M1 chips, which everybody's talking about. And um, to be honest, like the only reason why I, I really got it is because I had no choice. So uh, I've actually recorded a video where I installed every single app for software development. Um, and um, I know a lot of you guys will be using Homebrew. So Homebrew, I've actually managed to install it properly on their website, they actually um, give you the recommendation on how you should install it. So there, no issues. And I managed to install every single software that I need. So I've managed to install Python, Node.js, Java, pretty much like everything that I use as a software engineer, I've managed to install it through Homebrew. So go ahead and check that video to learn how to customize your own laptop as well. So one thing which I'm gonna let you know right now, and I know for a lot of people it's a deal breaker. Um, so currently you can't use Docker and Golang. Yes, so those two, uh, which I'm, I'm kind of sad um, because I use them quite a lot, but right now there is no support. So I couldn't install it. I've managed to install everything else apart from Docker and uh, Golang, which is a shame. So in terms of the IDEs, I've actually installed um, pretty much everything. So IntelliJ, Golang, even though I'm not able to use uh, Golang. So yeah, I just had to install it, even though I'm not going to use it uh, because I, I, I hope that they will fix it very soon. Um, also WebStorm, uh, VS Code, Sublime. So all of these IDEs that I use, I've managed to install them um, absolutely fine. One thing that I've noticed is that with IntelliJ, it's not as fast as I hoped that it was going to be. And I think that's because currently there isn't a na native support for these IDEs. So JetBrains, I think they are working on making these IDEs specifically to run on M1 chips. So obviously, um, you know, I'm, I'm not expecting to, to be the same uh, right away. So we know that these computers, they're actually uh, experimental and um, you know, it's just with time that they will get better and better and better. So one thing that I'm going to tell you right now, which I absolutely love is that for the one that I've picked up, so MacBook Air, uh, there's no fan. And this to me, it's super, super nice because I do lots of tutorials, record my screen. And there were times where I was using uh, the Intel chips and the fan would just make lots of noise. And probably you can relate to me as well, right? And right now with these ones, I've been using it for a week now and it's like literally no noise. And I can record without any background noise, which is like absolutely incredible. Also, if you use Slack, for example, you know that the moment that you do some video calls, then the fan will turn on and just make lots of noise. Uh, also zoom, right? So if you zoom, <laughs> like the, the fan would just go crazy uh, on Intel chips. Whereas on these ones, literally no noise. And to me, that is a plus, definitely. One other thing which I know uh, a lot of people also will um, find a little bit disappointing is that right now with these, with, uh, with, with, with the M1 chips, uh, whether you go for the MacBook Air uh, Pro or uh, Mac mini, you can only plug one monitor. So for me right now, um, it's absolutely fine because I don't have much space on my desk because I use it to record videos. So currently I'm just happy with this setup right here. So this main screen right here, and then this little one for a web browser, for example, but I know 
um, you know, software engineers that like to have two, three, four monitors. And right now that is not possible. Now, the big question is, should you buy a MacBook Air right now? So to me, it made sense to buy because I, I was struggling with this one because um, again, as I said, it's not working anymore and uh, I've had fun. Um, sorry, I'm gonna miss you. But I literally had to go and buy. I couldn't wait no more, right? If I could wait maybe um, another six months and this was working fine, I, I definitely would wait because I feel like these MacBook Airs or the new lineups, they are kind of experimental. And we know with these things that the technology is there and things will just get better and better and better. So the next generation of these chips will be much, much better. And uh, really, I can't wait to see what Apple does next. Now, these laptops, they are really good, really good for someone that just does like, for example, uh, web browsing or Microsoft Word or, you know, not intensive apps. So for me, I use lots of Premiere and also with Premiere, I've, I've noticed that it's not the same. I, I gotta be honest there. So the way I, I edit videos on, on Intel chips versus M1 right now, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's it, it, sometimes it lags basically. It's, it's, it's not the same and some of the features, sometimes I have to restart the app just to get certain features to work. So um, I would say if you can wait, for the next generation, then absolutely yes, do wait and don't buy these ones because they are experimental at the moment. But if there is no other choice and you need a laptop, then definitely buy um, whether you wanna get the Pro or Air, but I, I feel like just get the, the, the j just get the cheapest one. So my one is the MacBook Air, uh, 16 gig and 256 SSD storage. Um, and I didn't want to get the Pro because I know I'm going to be updating this very soon because I need something much, much more powerful than this. So I wouldn't buy them, especially Docker. I know it's a big disappointment for lots of engineers and Golang as well. So those two, I know a lot of people will wait until we have support for Docker and Golang. So don't buy it unless you need it. And yeah, so this is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk to you about. Go ahead and check the video where I unbox this laptop and then install all the tools and software needed um, for a software developer. So this is all for this video. Um, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know whether you would buy it or not. So I'm, I'm really curious to know. And uh, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, join the private Facebook group as well as Discord. The community is growing and I would love to have you there. This is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.